what three baits should you use now that it's winter time and we're in December? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So if you guys can do me a favor, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, smash it. Also leave me a comment and tell me that you subbed so I can say hello and welcome you to the team. It is winter time. The fall transition has completely passed. If you're up north in the uh, northern states, you're getting ice, you're getting snow. If you can find some open water, you might be able to find some fish. In the middle of the country and down south, our water temperatures are starting to drop. We're starting to see some 40s, 50s degree water. T these three lures are going to help you catch fish in that water temperature. In December, the bass are pretty much eating forage fish. They're not aggressively attacking them. They are a little more lethargic. They are in deeper water and will just grab a fish when they can grab it. They're not actively eating full time. They're not trying to eat every day. They might eat once or twice a week at best. But if you put the right bait in front of them and have the right action of the bait and lure, you're going to get bites. So the bass are going to start winterizing. They're going to be schooling up. They're not going to be on flats. They're not going to be on structure. They're going to be in deeper water where they can just sit and grab a meal when they can. They're going to be slow and lethargic fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to target the fish that are on the bottom. We're going to use baits that are bottom bouncing baits or baits that will get us a reaction strike as it goes by their face. These baits aren't going to be ones that we're going to be working fast. We're going to slow down everything right now. We're not going to be ripping too much stuff. Now, it doesn't mean you can't find uh, a crankbait and rip it fast and stop it and let it pause for 20 or 30 seconds and not get a bite if you can get it down deep. You will get bites on crankbaits like that. But if we want to be more successful, we're going to target the fish that are on the bottom of the, the seafloor. And that's where our first bait comes in. So our first bait we're going to talk about is a small swim bait. And you're going to see a lot of things, a common theme in the, the baits that we're going to, I'm showing you today. They're not big baits. They're smaller baits. This is a Hyperlastics Minwow. And this is a bait that I let sit, hit the bottom, and then slowly crawl it on the bottom of the seafloor. Let it just bounce. I also would do that with this Dual Realis Boostar, one of my favorite baits to ever use. And then this is the Wild Chad from VNM. As you can tell, they're about the same size, but they're smaller soft plastic swim baits. And what we're going to do with those baits is we're going to put some sort of either um, you can Texas rig them or Carolina rig them. We want them to be on the bottom of the seafloor. We want to just slowly crank them over and let the action of the bait do its work. We don't need to twitch it. We don't need to do anything. We just need to slowly reel it and let it stay on the bottom. My second bait is going to be a jig. Now here's why I want, I'm going to use the jig. I'm going to want that jig to hit the floor and I'm just going to twitch it and stop it. You can't overwork your baits right now. This is a time when you need to really be patient in the way you're fishing. A twitch, let it sit. Let it get back to the bottom. Don't twitch, 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 twitch and make it bounce fast. Twitch it once and let it do, let it just sit there. But just use whatever jig you are confident in and the color that you're confident in and let it sit on the bottom. Just a quick bounce. It isn't a big jerk. It isn't a big twitch over the rod. You want that bait to really just kind of go like this. You don't want any more action than that. You need to slow down your whole presentation right now. December isn't a time where we want to just speed up our baits. We want to pause the baits. We want to do all sorts of things like that. We want to give the bait time to do its work instead of us working the bait. The best thing you can do right now is stick to a size, downsize your baits, and just slow down. So the third bait I want to talk about is a lipless crankbait. And these just happen to be the Thunderhawk ones. One has no sound and one has sound. I love these baits for a lot of reasons. First, they have swivels on the hook, so it keeps the, the bass pinned a little bit more, super sharp hooks. And they're both the same size, even though they're a little bit di different in, in weights. This is a good color this time of year in December, but here's the great thing about it. When you cast this bait or any lipless crankbait that you have, this one is going to sit nose down. It's going to sit just like that. 
And instead of doing what we would do normally in the summer where we do a giant rip to make that bait go over grass like this, we're just gonna lift the rod tip up. We're just gonna make that bait just go like this and go a little bit away so that when you do it, it shakes like this and then it comes back down. So during the winter, you're going to want to have both baits on, one that's silent and one that has rattles in it. Um, you'll never know which, which one is gonna work, but it's good to have both on because when you do find out which one's getting bit, then just use that one only. You have to remember, sound travels differently in colder water. It doesn't travel as far. So having a bait that just vibrates and does that and falls back down, is they're gonna feel that vibration on their lateral line and come seek it out and eat it. But again, it's not giant rod twitches. It's just lift up your rod tip slowly and then let the bait do its, its own work. Again, we don't wanna overwork the baits this time of year. We want the baits to do the work themselves. So slowing down will help that happen. So as a tip, there's a couple other little things that I think you can use. If you've ever, if you have those steel baits, I think those are great ones. I, I honestly, it was really hard for me to not put a suspending jerk bait, twitch bait in this video. That's the God's honest truth. That should be the only bait. That's really the only bait I'm going to use, but it'll be in January for sure. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new and you're subscribing for the first time, leave me a comment and say, hey, Steve, I subbed, because I'd like to say hello and welcome you to the team. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers.